What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Stardust here, welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel and today we are talking once again about Marvel's Midnight Suns. Now I understand that this game isn't for everyone, right? I understand that people are saying, well it's just a card game, but look at the end of the day, I really like the look of this game and I'm going to keep covering it because I cover all Marvel and DC gaming and Marvel's Midnight Suns has just naturally had a lot of news because of Summer Games Fest, but I'm still going to be covering Marvel's events. I even have that full week-long uh, compilation of news that I did last week that I'll be doing this week as well But today we do have a really cool video for you So be sure to watch along subscribe and all that beautiful stuff now Let's see what we've got today. So we are looking at the Marvel's Midnight Suns Season Pass. Now I'm on Xbox.com, but I am a PlayStation player, but you still get Spider-Man regardless, which is obviously really cool. And we get the description for it. Keep the pressure on Lilith with the Season Pass, an extra dose of vengeance that includes four DLC packs on Marvel's Midnight Suns, each introducing a new playable hero, new missions, new enemies, and more. DLC content to release timing will be revealed at a future date, but according to the picture of the season, Season pass, which you can see here, uh, which I'm gonna get in better quality right here without the season pass, you can see four different markings on the uh, background, which I do believe are an indicator of the four heroes that we are gonna be seeing within the season pass. So let's look at the first one. So obviously, top left is probably going to be Morbius. Now, Morbius has been a meme in the uh, world of superheroing for a good bit now, thanks to his movie, but you can see the teeth marks and some claws right there. I think that is a perfect indicator that Morbius will be one of the first heroes and, of course, the OG of the Midnight Suns anyway. Um, bottom left probably going to be Deadpool. Now, the reason I say that is for the bullet holes and the sword slash. I think that it's a good indicator that Deadpool will be having some connection to this season pass and I think that you know after the video I made the other day with Jake Solomon saying Spider-Man was a really good mix because of his humor and stuff like that I think that them doing this uh, with Deadpool 2 in the season pass makes a lot of sense then top right um I didn't really know what this was so I did ask my friend and they said well it could be werewolf by night or maybe black cat or maybe saber tooth but I've also heard white tiger or black panther now it could be any of those two obviously Morbius is uh is a little bit of a wild card because I, I, could, I don't know when they were making up like the heroes that were going to be in this season pass but I don't know if it was like based on a movie that Morbius is in here in the first place I would love to see uh, Werewolf by Night you know another sort of like um, supernatural character in the Midnight Suns but it very well could still be Black Panther and we just go all out with like these relatively heavy hitters and Morbius right uh, and then the fourth one, you see a little bit of lightning there. Now, I don't think I have to tell you guys exactly who I think this is. Uh, I do believe this is going to be Thor. It could also be Storm too. Uh, get another mutant in there because Thor might be deemed too powerful. But then again, we do have Captain Marvel in there. We do have Scarlet Witch. We do have Doctor Strange. You know, we've got a lot of heavy hitters in this game. So I think seeing Thor isn't outside the realm of possibility and when we do get Thor there could be a chance that we could fight in Asgard potentially Lilith has corrupted maybe Loki or someone like that and we have to go to Asgard to sort them out let me know what you guys think down below about this I was originally going to make this video a short uh, just because I was afraid of the views that this was going to get but truth be told I'm committed to Marvel's Midnight Suns and I really do you know enjoy the look of this game and I really do want to continue to cover it so it would mean the world to me if you can support this and, uh, you know, just keep keep giving the love, guys, you know, because I'm still going to be doing Avengers. I'm still going to be doing everything else. I've not completely changed or whatever like that. But thank you guys for watching regardless, and I will see you all in a bit. Peace.